really talk about OpenSolaris. Give you a quick, uh, just a couple slides. We've got a whole bunch of engineers here. Uh, I want to give you a couple slides about what OpenSolaris is all about, what we're doing in terms of the storage portion of OpenSolaris. And then I want to hand over, hand over this time to you all to ask us questions. Like I said, I've got a whole bunch of engineers, and we'll just answer whatever questions you might have. So, what do you guys know about OpenSolaris? All right, what can you do from the storage side of OpenSolaris? So you, you guys know about ZFS, right? Everybody, everybody knows OpenSolaris is ZFS. Wonderful new, new way of thinking about how to manage your, your storage. You know, it's, it's the co combination of volume manager and file system pushed together, simplifying the data management. Um, and a, a wonderful opportunity to do some new research as well. You know, we're looking at how to do different compression algorithms, how to do uh, in, on disk encryption using ZFS. So there's some interesting opportunities that we have within OpenSolaris and ZFS. Um, UFS, long-standing file system. Um, so the way that kind of, the slide is broken out is the top line in each of these are projects that are already <coughs> integrated into OpenSolaris, things you should already know about. The second line underneath these big headings are some work projects that are already started in the OpenSolaris world that you may or may not have known about. So for example, local file systems. Fuse, there's a, there's a port that's currently going on with the uh, University of Michigan to uh, port Fuse to work, in open, uh, work on OpenSolaris, and we're looking for volunteers, we're looking for people who would like to help us out there. Um, SquashFS, you know, compressing file system, a uh, guy from France is working on that. Um, we're doing, we're, there's some community members who are working on ports of JFS and EXT3 into, uh, into OpenSolaris. So file sharing, obviously we do a lot of file sharing. It's, it's a big part of what we do. Uh, you know, the inventors of NFS, you know, sharing that technology out, we're still doing lots of work in NFS. Uh, just this fall, we've integrated SIPs. So we have an in-kernel SIPs implementation for both the server and the client. So Solaris can, Open Solaris can now serve as your SIPs server or a SIPs client. Uh, those projects are active in the Open Solaris world right now. Um, shared QFS. So many of you may, may or may not know about QFS. That's a high-performance file system that we've we've had. Uh, we, it used to be, a, or it's still sold as a product, and we're in, in actively working at open sourcing that right now, and, and the, specifically the shared portions of it. Um, and, and I'm s certain some of you know about Lustre, it's our high-performance file system, uh, shared file system that we're working on. I'm not going to go through all the rest of the details. We've got block access, iSCSI, we've got tape support. One of the things that I think is really exciting that we're working on in block space is the multi-protocol target. Uh, it's a project called Comstar. And what that'll do is it'll take a Solaris server, or open Solaris server, and allow it to be a target device. So if you want to connect to an open Solaris server with Fiber Channel or with iSCSI, You'll be able to do that with Comstar. We've got some of the engineers that represent Comstar. If you've got questions about that, um, data services, the bigger data services. We've got again many things going on here in OpenSolaris. Fixed content. We just released a product called Honeycomb. It's 50, uh, 5800. This is an object storage uh, fixed content. We have data replication. It's open source, so we can you know, replicating data in between boxes, at both at a block level as well as file level. We can do those kinds of things. Snapshots, volume management, we've got all those things going on. Um, we've got some engineers here that are going to be helping us talk about uh, data migration. So we got, we've got a project that just was started up to be able to migrate, actively migrate files from one machine to another. So if you've got data on, it, on, on some storage box, make a request, we'll intercept the request and we'll move the data for you onto the new storage box. So it's a project we've got going on. And then drivers and transports. This is one of the, for me, this is one of the, the strongest areas of Solaris. We've, we've always had a really robust driver stack. We've, we've got you know, support for iSCSI. ICER is a new project that's going on, which is um, iSCSI over RDMA.